Dear students, today we are going to learn about pronouns, person and number. Pronouns are used instead of nouns. In the place of nouns, we use pronouns. So there are seven pronouns. So there are also persons and number. Always we have we are see I, we, you, he, she, it, and they. They are the pronouns. Now here we have I is the first person. We also is first person. Who is the first person? Always the speaker is the first person. So when the speaker speaks about himself, he calls himself I. That's why it's called first person. And we also is first person plural. Because we means not one, many. That's why in the we there is also I. That's why we call first person. When the person speaking says we, in that we, even the person is there. That's why we call I and we first person. First person means he is the speaker. And then we have you. You is the listener to whom the I is speaking. That's why the listener is called second person. So you is second person. And also we use you for one person or more than one. That's why we say you is singular and plural. And here we have he is the third person. She is third person. It is third person. They are is third person. What is the third person? Third person is the subject about which we are talking about, about whom we are talking about. That's why we call it third person. So, if it is one, we call it singular. If it is more than one, we call it plural. That's why you have to understand here always, when I is the first person, singular, because I is one. That's why we call I is singular. First person, singular. Whereas, we is first person, but we means more than one. That's why it is plural. You, you is the listener, is the second person. So, you we use for one person or more than one person. That's why you is singular and plural. He is third person, because we are speaking about someone else. We are speaking about someone else. That's why we call it third person. He is one. That's why it is singular. Whereas she is also third person. That is also one person. That's why we call it singular. It is also third person. It is singular because it is one. They. They is third person. Plural. Because they is more than one and here we have to see the things he we use for a male so he she we use for a female it we use for a neutral gender that's why we have to understand this but whereas we use they for all maybe male or female or neutral anything that's why we use they as a plural. So we have to understand these pronouns now. So pronouns are I, we, you, he, she, it and they. And I is the first person singular. We is first person plural. You is second person singular and plural. He is third person singular. She is third person singular. It is third person singular. They is third person plural. So, I hope you understood this. So now, you again 
understand this learn this well so that is very important to learn about pronouns person and number in the grammar dear students now we will learn about helping verbs helping verbs are always used along with the verbs so it is very important to form the sentences especially tenses without knowing these helping verbs we can't make sentences according to the tenses that's why to make a different tenses we use all these helping verbs especially we have three verbs especially do have and be so we have do forms have forms and be forms we use these forms to make different tenses for example do forms there are present do forms they are do and does to make present tense especially simple present tense we have to use do and does whereas past do form we use did this did we use in the simple past tense so unless you understand this difference do does and did you can't make a simple present tense or simple past tense that's why if you see do it means simple present tense if you see does it is a simple present tense if you find did it is a always a simple past tense so do forms say present do forms and present past do forms if you use present do form it is a simple present tense if you use past do form did it is a simple past tense now we have have forms they also have we have present have forms and past have forms so in the present have form we have have and has and past have form is had usually we use these have forms to make perfect tenses to make present perfect we have to use have and has and to make past perfect tense we have to use had so if you find have plus verb especially v3 then it is a perfect tense same way had plus v3 we call it past perfect tense that means to make perfect tenses we have to use have forms then we have be forms there are also present be forms and past be forms present be forms are am is and are and past be forms are was and were these are also helping verbs when we use present be forms along with v4 it is always a present continuous tense if we use past be forms plus v4 it is always past continuous tense that's why now you see we have seen simple then we have perfect then we have continuous so according that we are using this do uh, helping verbs do forms always a simple have forms always perfect tense be forms always for a continuous tense that's why if you want to make pre simple present tense we have to use do forms past do form for simple past tense for example here say present perfect tense we have to use have or has past perfect tense we have to use had and present continuous tense we have to use am or is or are along with the v4 past continuous tense we have to use was or were along with the v4 that's why it is important to understand these helping verbs without understanding helping verbs you can't make tenses you can't make tenses that's why we have to understand all these helping verbs before learning the tenses 
especially present tense, past tense, and future tense, we have to understand first all these helping words. Without that, you can't make any grammar or any sentences or you can't speak at all without knowing these things. That's why it is very important for you all to learn first do forms and have forms and be forms. Then later we will understand also how to use all these helping verbs in our grammar.